Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 31 and including my FA Cup Court Finals predictions. Um, you know, there's not a lot of fixtures happening this weekend which I've decided to put it into one big video with the FA Cup and the Premier League. Um, you know, a few shocks happened this previous week had just gone. Um, you know, so... Let's, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first guy I'm going to talk about in the Inclusive City behind me is Bournemouth vs Newcastle. Um, Newcastle winning at the weekend 3-2, have five players offside with their third goal, I think it was. A big talking point, um, obviously it was previ previous week had just gone. Uh, you know, VAR was in the game, it was understood. Um, but, you know, it's one of them things. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, are, are okay this season. Um, you know, you know, more than likely going to stay up. So, for this one, I'm going to predict a 2-1 Bournemouth win. The next one... Is Burnley versus Leicester. Um, now, Brendan Rodgers, you know, his third game in charge got up against an okay Burnley side. Um, what do I expect from this one? I'm going to call it a Burnley win. I'm expecting a bit of a shock in this one. And I'm expecting a 2-1 Burnley win as well. The next one is West Ham versus Huddersfield. Ever so low Huddersfield. Looked like possibly relegation now ever since they lost to Brighton. Going up against a very good West Ham side who lost this previous weekend to Cardiff. Um, you know, it weren't expected but it did happen. Um, so with this one, I'm going to predict a West Ham win, and I'm going to predict a 3-0 West Ham win. The next one is Fulham versus Liverpool. Now, Fulham are looking ever closer to relegation as well. Uh, Liverpool did win on the this weekend, just gone. Um, point, point and peace between them and City now. So, I'm still going to predict a Liverpool win, and I'm going to predict a 4-0 Liverpool win. Uh, I think that'd be quite heavy on Fulham if something like that does happen. The next one is Everton versus Chelsea. Uh, you know, Chelsea are lucky to really struggle to finish in that top four. Um, so... I'm going to predict this one to be a draw, considering they never scored away in 2019, as far as I know, I might be wrong. And I'm going to predict a 0-0 scoreline for that one. The next one, and now we are in the FA Cup quarterfinal predictions, is Watford versus Crystal Palace. Um, Crystal Palace losing to Brighton this previous week had just gone. Um... You know, they had their chances just to take them. Um, completely wrong starting 11, I personally thought um, they started with. Um, you know, so it is one of them things, I think. But they did lose this weekend. 2-1 to Brighton, uh, uh, you know, that was the score. Um, going against my dark horses of this season, who are Watford. As I've said, this once or twice already. Um but who do I believe going through to the next round at Wembley? Um, that's where semi-finals are being played. So I'm going to predict a Watford win. And I'm going to predict a 2-1 Watford win. I think that defeat Brighton um, might just lower their confidence quite a bit. The next one is Swansea versus Manchester City. Um... You know, uh, Swansea in the Championship got up against a really good Manchester City side. 
Will City play with young boys? We have to wait and see for that. Um, so, but I've still got to um, predict the blue side of Manchester to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 3 0 Manchester City win. The next one is Wolverhampton versus Manchester United. Ever so flying high, Wolverhampton um, going up against a really good Manchester United team, even though they lost this week. This previous weekend to Arsenal. Um, you know, I'm going to predict this to go to extra time and I'm going to predict a 2 1 win after extra time. The last one is Millwall versus Brighton. Uh, as I said, Brighton did beat Palace this previous weekend, just gone. Millwall lost again, I can't remember who they lost to. Our fit, no, Ryan Etridge. Anyway, I can't remember who Millwall lost to. Um, put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to predict Brighton to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 3 0 Brighton win. Um, guys, this is the end of my prediction video. Guys, you know what to do? A big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Have a safe weekend if you're on the road. Guys, you're not. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.